How do these sky tankers, without engines or pilots, transport tons of water without dropping it to the ground? It's hard to believe, but one cloud can carry as much water as 100 elephants' weight. The sun heats the ocean by God's command. As the water evaporates, it leaves behind its salt and impurities, just like an invisible purification plant. These tiny clean water drops join together and make clouds. They are so light that the wind can easily carry them. An airplane that people build needs so many things to fly, right? Strong engines, a smart pilot. So who makes these clouds, which carry water many times heavier than themselves, fly? Who is their master? When there is a law that pulls everything down to the ground, who holds tons of water in the sky? Could this work be the product of blind force, deaf nature? How does the wind, which has no mind, know exactly where to take the clouds to the thirsty ground that needs water? For a single drop of rain, the entire universe factory must work together. Every part is interconnected. Every drop gives life to the soil. It becomes clean drinking water for us. What a great gift! Who can extract sweet, life-giving water from the salty sea? Of course, the one artist who knows everything and has power over everything. Only Allah, who knows and controls every part at the same time, can create this flawless system. He is the owner of infinite knowledge and power. This reign shows His infinite mercy and generosity. We should thank our Lord for this priceless gift by saying, Praise be to God. The best way to say thank you is to not waste this gift He has given us. Just like the clouds are so generous, we should also share what we have with others. Remember, everything is like a letter that tells us about our Lord. Try to look at the world in this new way.